Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Death End and Request. So, last time, uh, got off to a real good start. Uh, <laughs> but I'm liking this game so far, and for some reason, this, nope. this nope is just so cute to me for some reason. Nope. It is, <laughs> it is so cute to me for some reason, I don't know why. But, yeah. So, this is Sheena, and she's kind of got some memory loss issues going on. Maybe because of the nightmare she had where she got her head ripped off by a monster. Most unfortunate. Well, I can't let it bring me down. Things will turn up sooner or later. What makes you say that? My mother always told me that someone up there is watching out for me. Yeah, since you're in a video game, and I'm the programmer of it, from what the description of the game says, uh, that's probably me. I see. Your mother sounds like a devout woman. Surely our Lord will shine upon you with his blessings. Amnesia is nothing to scoff at. I can imagine how confusing all of this must be. So I will try to help you in the meantime. Then, would you mind catching me up on everything I've missed? Uh, hmm, uh, uh. Well, uh, you needn't burden yourself with the sad tale of this fallen world. Some things are better left unsaid. I want to know it all. Please, tell me. Very well, then. Allow me to tell you about the Entoma Scourge. One year ago, the world as we had known it ceased to exist. But it's here. On that fateful day, a terrifying beast came down from the heavens and unleashed catastrophe across the entire country. What? What do you mean? What's an Entoma? The Entoma was a curse from the gods, a living, breathing embodiment of atrocity. Brought Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm just going to turn up the music just a bit more. Vanity and greed became the gospels of our time. The rich became richer, and the poor became poorer. Soon, it seemed people had forgotten how to love. In no time at all, the thin fabric holding friends and family together was torn asunder. Constant threats of war and invasion gave corrupt nobles the chance to tax every cent from out of their subjects' pockets. I don't know why, but this guy's giving me a real Dark Souls NPC feeling. And it's a good feeling too, I like it. Desperation birthed from a widening gap betwixt the rich and poor. Thievery and violence became commonplace. Lives lost over loaves of bread. The nobility cackled atop their high towers, taking pleasure in watching their subjects turn on one another while they sipped their wine. The notion of salvation became a fool's currency. Eventually, the destitute and starving citizens had reached a point of no return. One by one, they fell to their knees onto the ragged earth, begging for death as mercy from their constant suffering. Memories of our vibrant past were tossed into the graves of those brave enough to remember them. That is, until the scourge had ripped the heavens in half without warning. It cut through the sky like steel through flesh, flattened our mountain ranges, and ruined our forests and seas with a divine rainbow light. Jeez. The beast itself had later become known as Heaven's Messenger, striking fear into the hearts of those unlucky enough to cross its path. Yeah, well that Heaven's Messenger is gonna have to just wait till he meets me. I'll put him down. Definitely can't put him down at this moment though. I'll be the next victim. Furious with our people's disregard for life, God saw fit to punish us without warning. We had no choice but to accept. Heavens, messenger, divine punishment? Christ. 
Within ten days, the beast destroyed not only Hartis, but each of the surrounding kingdoms as well. Dang. Mankind was beside itself without recourse or any chance of retaliation. Men, women, and children were being killed left and right. Christ. Just when we thought that all hope was lost, our long-awaited salvation had finally arrived. The monster's body had suddenly frozen and shattered into pieces. <gasps> what happened to it? That... I do not know. All we know for certain is, the monster's shattered fragments rained down upon our world, leaving little behind, save for its terrible memory in our minds. Spared from their accursed tyranny, the people celebrated in the streets. So there are survivors aside from us? Yes. Although few and far between, some of them still live in small enclaves. However, the fact that you lack any recollection of this event means you were asleep, not for a few months, but for over a year. Jeez. A whole year of freaking sleeping. So basically, in a way, Sheena was in a coma. <laughs> I have no idea how I lost my memory, so I'll just have to fill in the blanks somehow. Or again, because she has amnesia, she could have been awake during that whole year. But then again, isn't this a game? Is Sheena... Yeah, Sheena is... From what the description of the game tells you, Sheena is a game director along with the protagonist, uh, Arta. And she's trapped in the game, and Arta's gotta help her. I appreciate you taking the time to recount what I've missed. Seems like I've got a lot of catching up to do. But because of her amnesia, she thinks she lives in this game world. Ah, you impress me. It's rare to find someone whose nose is still pointed towards the future. Well, can't live life without the future. Sometimes you just need to put the past down. Uh, Sheena, uh, there's a bit more to this story. Many who survived the calamity experienced a strange emotional shift proclaiming to dedicate their lives to piety. People had interpreted their salvation as a miracle, and thus were eager to pay it forth to prevent another monster. From so, appearing. are you saying I'm gonna have to fight some god worshippers now? As of a few months ago, however, this ended with a few alarming consequences. Same people were praising to a different kind of god. How so? An event known as the Mass Consternation. Odd, unexplainable happenings popping up out of nowhere. That doesn't sound good. In one instance, a man had evaporated like smoke in his own bedroom. Oh. A woman claimed to see God's light before slitting her own throat. Jesus. <laughs> and this really is just a big shift out of all the other anime games I've played. Man, Sora Online, like, pfft. This is baby stuff considered to this game, and it's the whole entire story of everything. Especially that opening. <laughs> and you think Neptunia bad endings are bad? Well, this whole game's got its... Ugh. What? I heard of one village that committed a mass suicide by drowning, jumping into the ocean like a pack of rats from a sinking ship. I thought you were gonna say they drank a bunch of Kool-Aid. Why would they do such a thing? I don't know. It was as if they were... Martyrs suffering for the sake of avoiding retribution. It's almost like that one place I read. Like there's just a place where dogs just jump off a bridge for no reason. They just jump. It was around this time that monsters started to appear yet again, igniting fear into those who had survived to remember their ghastly deeds. Sheesh. Eventually, people began suspecting that the souls of these recently departed martyrs learned how to inhabit the bodies of monsters. 
Hence, monsters began attacking innocent people without warning. At least, that was the rumor. Well, monsters are monsters. They're just kind of The name soon people. stuck, and these beasts you see roaming around are what we now refer to as martyrs. Yeah. Great. More evil-looking baby bugs to deal with. Crowds of frightened town goers would look up at the sky at once and mutter, We are forsaken. We don't understand. What could compel people to end their own lives? There has to be some explanation, right? Mm -hmm. You're wise, Sheena. As you stated, we had eventually discovered the reason for the mysterious slew of mass suicides. It appears you have one attached to your leg as well. That is the mark of the Entoma, the Wait, catalyst what? that drives people to madness. Unfortunately, you will soon feel its effects as it slowly eats away at your mind. What? Oh. Ah, what the? It's moving? Ah, it's fluttering up my skirt. That, my dear, is proof of your curse. It has a mind of its own, ensnaring its hapless prey while slowly corrupting it over time. Oh, jeez. If inorganic matter is touched by the curse, then it eventually withers away. If it latches onto a living thing, however... Th then what happens? Their brains become infected to the point that they spiral out of control. You might be a bigger threat oh, to yourself Jesus. than you think. That's not good. <laughs> Now that monsters in this damned Entoma have all but doomed this place, there is little for anyone to do other than watch the gradual and tragic demise of our world. Goodness me, in times as bleak as these, it feels like a real labor to go on living. Huh? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I think I just have a stomachache. Oh no! Uh, forgive me. I've spent all this time reminiscing. How rude of me. Uh, I'm fine. It'll subside in a bit. If everything you said was true, about the curse and the end of the world, then I'm so sorry. Somehow, though, I'm still happy. But how can you? It makes me think. Meeting someone new and learning something about them feels like a miracle of its own at times. You always need some optimism in the end of the world. That's how you keep your sanity in check. When I see my reflection in someone else's eyes, I can't help but blush. For a brief moment, my life has purpose. Knowing that I matter to someone else brings me joy. It's hard to explain. Joy, huh? Yes. So, Rook, you just need to... <sighs> I'm so sorry. That was rude of me. <laughs> it's fine. Because of what you just said, I am reminded that life still holds some splendor. Thank you for sharing that beautiful sentiment. You're welcome. I've no doubt that someday we will find a way to lift the curse of the Entoma from our lands. If I learn anything more about it, then you'll be the first to know. Really? Thank you. Well, guess I'll be seeing you around, Rook. The world needs me. Sheena, where are you going? To save the world. I'm an adventurer. There's only one place for me to go. The place where all adventurers dream of. The mystical sky capital, Odyssea. Odyssea? Are you sure that such a place even exists? All of what I just mentioned, including Heaven's Messenger, is a little more than hearsay. Stories to scare young children. <sighs> of course it exists. Dream a little, Rook. Uh, I'm sorry. I spoke out of turn again. Oh, please. I don't mind. So, uh, do you have any clue how to reach Odyssea? Just keep walking till we find that way. 
Additionally, extensive travel requires adequate funds. Uh, are you well prepared? I don't have that much money. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, judging by your reaction, the answer would seem to be no. Oh, come to think of it, I recall the king had announced that he was recruiting new guards. Uh, why don't you try gaining some money that way? Hmm? Do some fetch quests and stuff. Sound really? good? Yes, I'd love to. If I want a true ending, I better do all those quests. In that case, let me show you how to reach the palace. Follow this corner, then make a left down this path. Uh, oh, here. Here is a map. That'll be nice. Wow, thank you. See you around. Good luck out there, young traveler. I like that rook guy. Hopefully nothing Let's bad happens to him. Good luck to you too! <laughs> what a spry thing. If the next generation has as much spirit as her, then perhaps there's hope yet for the future of our world. <laughs> However, it might be too late. Now, I'm sure we can fix this. There's got to be some way to fix it, right? There's usually always a way. Made it! So this is the palace, huh? It's humongous from the outside. Hardis, a sprawling kingdom with one of the biggest armies in the world. This palace certainly lives up to its sizable reputation. I can't forget, though, that the king is infamous for being a power-hungry conqueror. I should keep my, keep on my toes while I'm here. I wonder if I'd even I wonder if I'd ever visited the palace before I lost my memories. What if this isn't my first time here? Oh well. What's important for now is that I gain an audience with the king. Hopefully the king ain't no douche. How odd. For a palace this huge, I thought I'd see a lot more people by now. One soldier, even. I guess everyone's gone. Hmm. The silence is disarming. Maybe if I scream, someone will notice me? <gasps> this girl. Hello? Oh, Echo Hello. I'm here to enlist as a guard? I'm here to enlist as a guard? <laughs> Not a peep. Guess this place really is empty. Well, maybe not. The front gate was open. The king's probably sitting in the throne room. I should try searching more th thoroughly. And then you get attacked randomly. What? What? I'm sorry, huh? You killed my wife off with your... Uh, are the, is this... Don't... Wait, what? Are you talking to Sheena? Or somebody else. Huh? Where did that voice come from? That doesn't sound good. Our points. I should have read that more. How is that a point when that was an item? They resonate in my hand. Huh. So these could be useful, huh? Okay. I saw costumes in the in the PlayStation store, but I doubt they're, you know, anything else. Hold on. Uh limited warp points, huh? Is there anything else in like this we can find out? Risk versus rewards. During battle, stepping on field bugs will increase corruption. However, there are some benef there are some beneficial effects such as SP recovery. So we don't, but then we do want corruption. Ah. So, I want to try doing that in a good way. Huh. 
Okay. Alright. I understand. I'm guessing our way might be it. Oh, did these open? No. Is this the main way? I don't want to go the main way, I just want to know. Ooh, this is... No. Anything? No. Okay. Uh... Well, let's try going up. A lot of places to go around here. I'm gonna hear Sheena panting a lot, aren't I? <laughs> There's a save point here. It's a bit worrying. <laughs> Probably should save before going through any of these doors, because who knows where they'll end up. What's this? Huh? Hold on, if I investigate this one too, What's this? What's it this? doesn't do anything. Maybe I need a certain somebody for them or something. Alright, I'm gonna save before going through a door. Yes, who knows? It might lead to a potential death end, the game says. I mean, if I wanna. F yeah, hold on, I forgot. The episode chart. I remember that sort of noise. I'm missing something back there, it says. Hmm. Maybe if the game has a new game plus, I'll still be able to f uh, fill that out. This isn't the right way, is it? Did I just go the right way? Please tell me I didn't go the right way. I want to go the wrong way. I went the right way. Gosh darn it. Hold on. Can we go back? Load. I'm sorry, I don't want to go the right way yet. Good thing I just saved. Because we literally did not want this. I think what I'll try and do is I'll just fill out that epi episode chart in like a New Game Plus or something. Because why not? The door is shut. Oh, great. I mean, I do show stuff after I beat the game anyway, so... The door is shut. Hmm. Okay. Well... Then I wasted time doing that load. <laughs> so this is the way we go. I'm not liking the look of this. Oh, he scared me. I He's gonna I attack inside, you. So I went on ahead and pushed the door open. He's gonna attack you, dear. Um, my name is Sheena. I'm an adventurer. He's gonna attack you, dear. Forgive me for barging in. I tried calling out earlier, but it seemed like no one else was around. Someone just screamed, "You killed my wife!" And this guy's gonna oh, um, attack I'm you. I'm here to enlist as a guard. I heard you were re recruiting. What am I even saying? I'm letting my panic get the best of me. Keep it together. He's not saying anything. He's about to attack you. Something is wrong. Hey! Oh, hey. Who's saying hey? What do I do? I wonder why he isn't responding. His eyes are vacant and placid. No matter how much I move or speak, he doesn't budge. Someone shouted hey. Thomas Scourge thing has something to do with this. I heard someone shout hey. My goodness, though. I can tell why the king would enjoy living here. I've never seen anywhere so lush and extravagant. Um, hello. The woman in this portrait is stunning. 
She's so regal, like a queen or a princess of some kind. But why does the painting look like it's been hacked apart by a sword? I couldn't fathom why anyone would dare to desecrate a royal portrait. I wouldn't be so easy around that night. Have I met her somewhere before? No way. That can't be. How the heck would someone like me meet the royal family when it... Oh! Uh, is the guard walking on to you? Oh no! What did I do? Guard just started glaring back at me. I should get out of here. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll just come back later. I should head back to the palace entrance. Jeez. Are we gonna ignore that? What's going on here? This whole castle seems a bit off. Oh, I know. Why don't I ask the king? You were going to. That's why you stepped out. That's why you went in. Oh. No, wait, this is her. I just had to find a way to speak with the king. As the thought crossed my mind, I decided to head back into the throne room. You just left because you were scared of the guard. Excuse me. Um, sorry about earlier, but there's something urgent that I need to ask the king. I hope I'm not being too rude, but would you let me through to speak with him? He isn't responding again. Maybe that means I can proceed? Step forward. I see someone standing over there. Is that the king? He might not be able to hear me from here, so I'll have to get closer. Is he the one who screamed you killed my wife? Hey! You there! Run! Wait, uh... uh huh? What? Why? Huh? I thought I heard a voice just now. Am I imagining things? Yeah, I heard the hey earlier. He's talking to you. Bad idea, Sheena. You've traveled a long distance, adventurer. I'm worried about this. What a relief. Seems I can talk to him. Have you come to defile my wife as well? Yeah, his wife was killed. Huh? Wait, you've got me all wrong. I never do anything to hurt the queen. Those hideous legs on your body are proof of your insolence. A stay reserved for sinners, as the rest of us await salvation from the Ark! He's pissed. Is that thing fidgeting again? It was hiding under my skirt a second ago, but now it's traveling up my thigh. The king is staring at me. It's making me uncomfortable. He wants you dead, Sheena. Run. Now, please. Your Highness, please hear me out. The Queen and I have never even met and... Well, it's red, are you... <sighs> Bow before the Lord's graces! Touch your head to the ground and repent with your blood! Don't do that. The purging light only desecrated our world because of sinners like you. I'd run. What is he talking about? So it isn't just the cards that are acting strangely. The king's going cuckoo too. The world the is cursed Puffs. and falling into ruin. Soon all will be reduced to ash. The devout will be saved. And the sinners punished! I hereby oh charge boy. you with the murder of my wife, the queen! Off with her head! Uh-oh. Watch out! Please. They're coming! What the? Gina, watch out! Please don't die! I think she got away just in time. Help! You're hurting me. Fight them, Sheena. Lord. He's got weird legs coming out of him, just like me. God has forsaken you. Death to all sinners. The music's gotten heavy. Sheena, oh, no. please don't stand there. Fight. God has forsaken you. Death to all sinners. You're a sinner. Well. Your demise, uh, you, no, don't, don't, don't hurt her. Don't hurt the poor girl. She's, she's nice. I, tr I tell you. What was all that about? 
poor girl's too innocent to die again already. Maybe Least. coming here was a bad idea. I need to hurry out of the palace. Yes, run for. Oh, 